Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. Well, we've just been abandoned by our minion follower, um, Julan. A faithful servant, not so faithful servant as it turns out. He took one look at this place and decided, nope! Then he noped his way all the way back to Eldrune via a teleportation spell. One might argue he has more common sense than I do. But a job's a job. And I've come here to do it. Uh oh. Something wants to be dead. Something wants to be dead. What is it that wants to be dead? Is it, just, is it a cliff racer or something? Please let it just be a cliff racer. I think I need to go this way, I think. Uh. Oh, you any journey inside the game? Mm hmm. You dress the shrine. Blah, blah. Far from Ghost Fate Gate and flees from any minions of Deck or Thur when you address the shrine. It doesn't tell me where the bloody shrine is. Which is not particularly brilliant, is it? Uh, I happen to know where it is as a player, of course, but um, so I will save any fumbling around. It's over here, you see. Not a terribly obvious path, but um, it is this way. I did bring a soul gem, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Come on then. I've contracted Ash Chanker. We're awesome. Blighted cliff. Fuck off. At least the dagger's doing his job. Let's get shrine. Would you like to donate a soul gem and ask for a blessing? Yes, please. Thank you for your pride, Lord Vivek. I shall not doubt myself, all my people, all my gods, and shall insist on them in my ancient rites. And I'm out of here. Ta-da. Bye-bye. I have a magic shield. Awesome. For 25 points, in fact. That's pretty good. My arm is now 37. Although, most of that's probably going to be from the, the, the shield. But yeah, no, I've got the Boots of the Apostle now, which are pretty banging. And I've got the Glass Grease, which are pretty freaking sweet, too, so... Oh, God! There we go. Another one down. Yeah, I think you might have been the one that was after me, but you just didn't show yourself. You probably caught in a tree somewhere. Ta ta! <laughs> bye bye, Red Mountain. If I ever see you again, it will be too soon. Open, please. Close, please. Whew. Give the weather a second, it'll clear up. Demon sheep! I doth hear demon sheep! I was. I always found that sound effect hilarious. There it is again! <laughs> okay. Right, well, Aldrin, Aldrin's buggered off to Julan. Or, or, in fact, the other way around, which is what I originally meant to say. Um, Julian's buggered off to Aldrun. Um, yes, yeah, so that was Red, that was Red Mountain. One of the. Oh, I will never forget the first time I went through that gate. In this game, it was a real holy shit moment, and it remains to this day for me a bit of a special occasion. Whew. Yeah. It's not it's not nice in there on the other side of that fence. It's really not. Oh, I didn't notice this earlier. It's very cool. I can't interact with any of these, but it looks very cool nonetheless. Practice dummy. Hello. Well, on the bright side, I am now hitting more than I'm missing with my dagger. At least it seems that way to me. Yeah, definitely. So, the combat in this game should now be getting significantly less irritating as a result, mind you. 
I still want. And I've left it on the steps, I've re I realised this. No doubt previous video was full of comments saying, Dave, you left your, you left your long sword on the step, you idiot. Um, thing is, I really need to be practicing this thing. So this isn't a very good sword of practice with, because in doing so I, I, I lose charge, because I keep hitting the dummy with it, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Ooh! Level up! Class! Um... Oh yes, I have Ash Chanker. That was the other thing. It's drained my personality to a... incredible degree, in fact. It's drained my... 20... Did I only have a personality of 30? I suppose I must have done. Huh. I thought it was higher than that, I guess not. I've taken quite a bit of health off this dummy now, you know. Someone made a hilarious joke in the comments, actually, that it's like, you killed the, uh... Be funny if you <laughs> you killed the practice dummy, like you kid took away all its health and finally killed it, and then you just got the message. The thread of the prophecy has been severed with, the, with this character's death. <laughs> Reload a saved game to restore the weave of fate, or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, you don't have essential NPCs in Morrowind. I've probably mentioned this before, but you don't have essential NPCs. Everyone can be killed, but if you kill someone who's part of the main quest, it pops up with a message that says something along the lines of. With this character's death, the thread of the prophecy has been severed. Reload a saved game to restore the weave of fate. Basically telling you, you done killed an important person, you eejit. Reload the game if you want to be able to finish the main quest. Because there is one exception to that rule, where it will pop up anyway, but you can still finish the main quest, but... Let's not go into that now. Uh... Right, well, I'm going to go rest. It's 4pm. But I'm an old man, I can go to bed whenever I like, damn it. Uh I need to need to lie down after that, actually. Good lord. I'll rent that bed and then we'll, in the morning we'll we'll go, uh, head back to um Old Ruin and we'll pick up Julan. That stupid scaredy cat. Um There you are. Barmaid! Excuse me. Coming through. We've got blight disease outlander, get away from me! Oh yeah, I forgot. Do, apologies, I, 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 I should go see a shrine, shouldn't I? I keep forgetting I've got a disease. Uh, somehow. <laughs> uh, I'll go to the temple up here. There we go, any of these will do, I think. Cube light. Huzzah! I am saved. Yeah, my personality is only 30, huh? I guess I am a pretty grumpy old man. Sorry. <clears throat> I guess I am a pretty grumpy old man from from the West Country for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell happened there? I don't know. My brain was just like, old man voice, go. And I just turned into an old guy from Cornwall. Um, never mind. <laughs> Hi, can I have a bed now, please? <laughs> uh, ten gold, yeah, that's grand. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Only one room, mind you. Look, it's over here. One room. And amazingly, it's not already occupied. In spite of all the people here. Ooh. Ah, damn, nothing to pinch. Shame. Uh, right. I remember once upon a time I role played a boy and armager character, and this is where I lived. This was my little miniature player home, and I had all sorts of stuff stacked up on these ch shelves and things. It was great. And that's all I did. I just played as a boy and armager guy in shit and armor and glass armor, and I just wandered off into Red Mountain every day. You know, like like it was his sort of boring work for the day, just like, right, gonna get up at 7 o'clock and bugger off into Red Mountain, and that's just what he did. He went around killing ash monsters and things. Um, didn't do any main quests or anything like that, I was just sort of, he was a bit of a sh sort of regular schlub. Boy in armager, went around killing his quota of, uh, horrible ash horrors for each day. 
Um, like 12, 13, 14 hours, something like that. Level 9! Hell yeah. Speed. Agility and... Intelligence. Need intelligence because I need more magicka. Never gonna have that much because I didn't pick any of the magicka related star signs and I am not a high elf or a Breton, but um, we can do our best nonetheless. Still thinking of going into how to tell Barney, I have to admit, just because there are so many bitching mods that you can use for how to tell Barney that totally fit this character, so. Yeah, let's work on our magic skills, shall we? On that note. Oh god! I just did. Okay. Ugh. It was the, 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 the save game thing came up there, and I didn't read what it said. It just I saw a bar loading as soon as I cast this, and I thought I'd accidentally cast recall or an intervention spell on myself or something. Speaking of which, I do have a seventy percent chance to cast on CV intervention, which ain't bad. And then. Good morning, Ghostgate. I shall be off now. It's nice meeting you all, but um, I'd like to go somewhere slightly less, you know, akin to the Black Gate leading into Mordor. I.e. Aldrune, which is up this way, as a matter of fact. Just gotta follow the ghost fence back along the way we came. I shall be doing this as I go, because I need the practice. Frankly. Hey, here we go, 28 now. Which is still terrible. But we're getting there. Oh, hello. A Nyx Hound has moved into the area since we were last here. Interesting. How damaged is my adamantium dagger, by the way? Not very much. As far as I recall, adamantium is one of the hardest densest weapon, um, you know, weapon materials in the game, so it doesn't damage terrifically easily. The same way silver weapons do, or iron. Or glass ones. Glass ones are terrible for that, actually. They damage really easily. They're usually very good in terms of damage, but they, they, they do wear down very fast. Tremendous. Looks like there's more cliff races lurking around here. Yep. There he is. You little bastard. Come on, then. Come on! I think he's just a regular cliff racer, so... He shouldn't prove too much of a challenge to kill. Or he's just gonna ignore me. Fine. It's up to you, chum. going this way. I'm slightly tempted to investigate that Daedric Ruin we found when we came up here the first time, but I think, to be honest with you, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it with my faithful pack mule slash meat shield following me around. Oh, you're going to be a bloody blighted one, aren't you? You look like you are. Oh, I'm still managing to kill you though. That too much bother. Yeah, blight the quiver race, I think, for the thingy what's it? Racer plumes, that was it. That's what it's called. Hello, Mr. Bullnatch. I'm gonna leave you the fuck alone. Seriously. <laughs> I like a fight, but I'm not stupid. I wonder if our corpus friend is he still- There he is! Hello! Migraines, is it? That- that red- that, that, that whole expression you just did is kind of my response whenever someone posts a comment saying something like, you missed a chest, or you missed that helmet, or you missed a sword. That's what I do. I just bend over double with my hands on my head and go. Rrr! True story. Well, 
That's quite a view, isn't it, actually? Let's throw them off board over there. I assume Julan's buggered off to the Old Sky Inn. I think that's where he said he was going. Apologise if the noise from the spells is kind of annoying. I'd turn it down if I could. All I can do is turn down the generic effects noises, which I don't really want to do. Hey, 29. It's working, it's working. Slowly. Yeah, see this place, I wouldn't mind having a poke around there. If we haven't already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't. Um, a lot of these places look very bloody similar sometimes, I, I, I struggle to remember. Um, I know we've been in at least one up to this point. Had some orcs in it, if I recall. Uh, yeah, but I think I'll bring Julian along for the ride if I go in there. But then again, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Because there's a lot of occasions with this character where I have to go invisible and do sneaky, silly things, um, which he can't do. So... I've gotten used to travelling alone in that sense, and fighting alone, and dealing with enemies alone, so... It'll certainly make things interesting. Yeah, I'm wasting all my magic here on silly spell, but I'm not likely to meet anything on the road here that demands so I, uh... Who the hell are you? What? Firetrix Petilia. Hey, get away from me. Don't you know you're sick and you've got a black... I have not! Apparently I have. Did I get... Did I get Ashtanka again? Damn it. That's kind of annoying. And by kind of, I mean incredibly annoying. Oh, no trauma route for me. Did get some on that. Again, with the curious mix of container plants and pickable plants. Oh, that's a little scrib. Graveyard. I was going to say family, but nope. They're all dead. Curious. And dead rats and things too. Oh, hello. Stupid horned beetle. What did you hope to achieve? Yeah, look at this. You've all been murdered by something. Now you got a new quest. Solve the scrib scrib and hello. Perseus' Nightmare, constant effect, sound 100 points on self, blind 25% on self, fortify intelligence 15 points on self. That's a curious little item, isn't it? Where is it? It doesn't appear to have a value, either. Not that you'd want to buy that, really, would you? Um... I wonder if that woman down the road here had anything to do with it. It's placed suspiciously close to her, after all. God, oh, that is pretty. Nice lighting effects and shit. How wonderful. Another tourist. Oh, shut your face. Background, I asked myself, like, oh, whatever. Whatever. What the fuck ever? Yeah, I must have got Ash Disease, Ash Blight, whatever the fuck it's called, from another creature along the way somewhere. Probably that blighted cliff, cliff rater I insisted on trying to kill with my longsword. That'll be it. Never mind. I'll just go pop along at the temple and everything will be sorted out. No problem. I should try and find some Cure Blight Disease scrolls slash potions, I suppose, that I should know, really. It'd make life a little easier. When one is out in the wilderness, so to speak, yawn. <sighs> Hello again, old rune. How do you do, D? Uh, right, okay, let's bugger off over to the temple. Then we'll go to the old sky and pick up, um, what's his face? And we'll go shopping. We'll sell a bunch of this crap that's still sat in my inventory. 
Hopefully, the, hopefully the merchants around here haven't figured out that I swindled them all earlier, because that wouldn't be so good. I don't think they will have. Just a hunch, but you never know. Oh my goodness me, Nazgul! And he's leaving again. Do you want some? Hi. Excuse me. And give a light. Ta-da! Awesome. Yeah, you really need to find a fix for that. <sighs> More yawning. Sorry, I'm kind of tired today, actually. I'm not playing this late at night like I was a couple of episodes ago, but just it's just one of those days where I just feel knackered for some reason. Uh, wrong way. Uh, no, not not technically. Let's just do the shopping first. Why not? Bookseller. Good start. I have plenty of books that need selling after all. Okay. Don't need this anymore. I've done all the things for the Pilgrim's Path, which reminds me, I should go back up to the bloody temple and say so. I almost forgot. Um, so, uh, although, part of me wants to keep it just as a souvenir, to be honest with you, at this point. It's not even worth that much anyway. That is, though. As is that. As is that. Okay. I think that's all my books I want to sell, isn't it? Yep. Bartering time! I've got gold to recoup after buying those glass greaves. Damn it. Should have sweet talked him first. Oh, come on, dude. You know you like me, really. Uh, I'm doing this with zero fatigue. This is a very stupid idea. Let's wait around for now. There we go. Come on. Come on, I'm not all that bad. I'm not all that bad. I'm honestly not. I'm honestly not. Please be nice. Don't make me throw money at you. God in heaven. And that was me thinking my speechcraft skill was up to a reasonable level, finally. Okay, we're going back up to 28. We'll leave it at that. Whew. We've repaired the damage, if nothing else. Right, what else have I got? Our chemical ingredients, mostly, and a few odds and ends. Um, there was a tailor around here, wasn't there, somewhere? What the heck? Oh, it's a... It's a... You didn't stand much of a chance, did you, Blue Beetle? Hello. Little work. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. You've mistaken me for someone else, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> Grave Ward Amulet. Nah. Alright, you can have that. And that. And that. And that. And those. Except you only have 200 gold, so that's... Really rubbish. Oh well, that was an expensive clothier down here somewhere, wasn't there? I think they're under Scar though, which is kind of a pain. What do you want? Uh, I want to know why you're wearing a dress. That'd be a good start. Where is that slave? I mean, you you really are literally wearing a skirt. You know, it's not like you're wearing a robe. That's a different thing entirely. You are actually wearing a skirt. Anyway. No, no, I don't want to do any work for you. I'm very sorry. I'm, you, you've mistaken me for someone else. Uh, right. Ooh, excuse me. Um, okay, expensive ring, expensive ring. Extravagant ruby amulet, was that? Yeah. Bet that'd make good enchanting um, stuff, that would, actually. You know, the mage ring. And the ancestor's ring. Uh, I don't want 
to do with Percy's Nightmare. It's sort of a bit of a waste of space, that thing. Odd curiosity, though. Must be related, related to a quest somewhere, I'm sure. The common icy amulet is really not that useful, but I'll keep it for now. Demon Tanto, Elementium Dango, blah 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 blah. Risa Plumes. Oh, disease hand me, no thanks. Oh no, no, I. Well, I was gonna say, you can make levitate potions out of um, Risa Plumes and Trauma Roots, but I don't think I need to make levitation potions, really. So, might as well sell it. I've got the dangerous skin. It's gonna be like, oh, Dave, she's selling all the restore magicka items. I know. It's not a point. You don't. Restore magicka is not a common enough alchemy, alchemical ingredient property for you to ever really bother making restore magicka potions, frankly. Um, that's pretty much everything, unless I've got a few uh, like these. There we go. Another max. Done deal. Okay. At least my inventory's been cleaned out of most of the useless crap. I'm still over encumbered as all hell, but that's probably down to the fact that I'm carrying three weapons, um, as well as my camping equipment, as well as all my alchemy gear. Yeah. Hopefully, though, I can offload some of this rubbish onto um, our mutual friend down here at the Old Sky Inn. I do hope he's here. Julan, where the bloody hell are you? We are in the Old Sky Inn, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't accidentally wander into the corner club. Or council club, rather. Not corner club. Julian, where the bloody hell are you, you stupid man? I'm yawning again, I do apologise, can't help it. It's probably down here somewhere. Uh, there you are. Right. I, I, I'm i sorry for what happened back there. Gods, you must think I'm an utter cat. Yes, I do, as a matter of fact, but... I swear this to you, I am a warrior. I never run from a fight. I do not fear death. I'm not afraid of the ash monsters on Red Mountain. It's something else to do with these weird dreams I've been having. Come again. I often dream that I'm climbing Red Mountain and it's dark. And the air is filled with ash getting into my eyes and mouth. And it gets harder and harder to keep moving. And there are all these voices surrounding me whispering things. What kind of things? I don't know. I can't understand what they're saying. But they sound, um, not good. I mean, you've heard of Dagoth Ur, right? Even an outlander must know about him. The devil who lives under Red Mountain, yes? Who is supposed to make people go insane by sending them dreams? Well... Everyone has strange dreams sometimes. They don't mean it. You think I'm guilty of having particularly odd dreams myself, as a matter of fact. Of course, Dagoth Ur is a powerful figure in our history and legends, so lots of people dream about him. It's nothing. I'm certainly not insane. I'm not planning to be. So, why are your dreams bothering you so much that you can't set foot on Red Mountain? They aren't. I mean, they won't. It do I know it doesn't make sense. Just give me a little time, please. Maybe we could carry on with my training. I need to take my mind off things. Alright, then, fair enough. Okay, well, training... Do you want to train me now? Do you just want me to tell you about your current skills and attributes? Tell me about your current skills. Major skills. Short blade, 63. Light armor, 58. Restoration, 38. Block, 43. Destruction, 36. So, short blade and light armor. You're like a mini version of me. You also have a slightly better long blade skill, which I'm a little jealous of. Speechcraft 13. <laughs> Security 10, Mercantile 21. Okay. Short blade, light armor, restoration, block, destruction. Okay. Not bad. The block's a nice addition. Um. I don't have any blocking skill at all, so I never use shields. Medium armor's not bad. I can shove some medium armor on you at some point, get you a suit of bone mold or something, maybe. Uh, yeah. Sneak's appreciated, actually, as well. Alright, well, 
What about attributes? Do Strength 50, Agility 63, Endurance 50, Intelligence 37, Willpower 48, Personality 33, Luck 45. Okay, let's try and improve one of your skills. Uh, let me think. Um, weapon skills. Short blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, I generally prefer fighting with blades, but maybe I should broaden my range. Yeah, short blade, there you go. Julian has raised his short blade skill to 66, there you go. And we've done, we can do that once per day, can't we? As I remember. Try and improve on your skills. Uh, I think we should leave it till tomorrow. You were getting a little over enthusiastic back then. I nearly lost an eye. <laughs> so that's about right. Um, right. Can I not give you stuff to carry? Maybe he'll. Maybe it's one of those deals where he'll only carry shit for me if I if he likes me enough or something daft like that. Seven graces. So you lost your mind and you joined the temple, and now we have to make pilgrimages. Walking around boring places, thinking pure thoughts, looking for a stupid shrine. Gah, you just want to make me suffer, don't you? Well, it's all over now. We did the last one. Uh, do, 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 do. What do you know about the Nerevarine? What? What do you not want to know about that for? Nerevarine properties? Why are you asking me? Why do you want to know about them? Nerevar? He was a great Dunma hero many ages ago. Why are you asking me? Fine, shut up, shut up. Fine, whatever. Uh, He's the enemy, the devil. He lives beneath Red Mountain, growing in power, sending out his minions to infect and attack us. He was mortal once, but no longer. I don't know what he is now, but he needs to be stopped. Okay. Okay, combat, health, magic, move together. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I guess I probably... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like he can carry my stuff, and I can't give him anything either, which is particularly annoying, but what can you do, I suppose? Um, disturbing dreams. Uh, your dreams just get strange, don't they? A word of advice, never mention them to my mother. She'd insist you told her everything and then spent hours dissecting every pointless detail. I wa Once I dreamed that I was being chased by giant spiders and she had me praying to Mephala for weeks, convinced it was some kind of message. Sometimes a giant spider is just a giant spider. <laughs> Alright then, go along. You will, you will be carrying my stuff, though, eventually, chum. Mark my words, even if I have to use the bloody console to do it.